Hey, it's Bass Quest. Today we're going to continue our playlist on fall finesse fishing techniques because a lot of times in the fall transition like we're having right now, especially in the southeast where you have a lot of highly pressured lakes, you're going to notice that these fish will school up but everyone knows where they are and it makes it really difficult to catch them sometimes. And so we've been doing some videos that I'm going to link up here that are helping you unlock some of those things, getting creative, um, doing things, thinking outside the box so that you can capitalize on all these fish that are schooling over there. And today we're going to talk about this combination right here. Anyone who fishes the Tennessee River knows that when it comes summertime ledge fishing, the scrounger, especially for me, the hog, hog wobbler right here and you know the five and a half or four and a half inch spunk shad is one of my go-tos for fishing deep on ledges for fish. But what people don't realize is that these baits are very versatile and hog farmer a couple years ago came out with this little dude right here. So this is the 3.5 inch spunk shad and this is the small hog wobbler. This is a quarter ounce bait, little three aught hook here. And you can see I've got the bill on there. But one thing I'll tell you, if you really want to get the most out of this bait, you got to do this right here. See if y'all can see the difference there. Can you see that? See that right there? So what I've done is I've cut away some of the bill in order to make a little V shape. So it's almost like a teardrop now is what you're trying to go for. You wanna get it in that teardrop. Now cutting down the bill is something that I do in the summertime too with a full size scrounger. What it does, when you cut that bill down like that, what it's gonna do for you is increase the speed of the action. So when this one's wobbling side to side, this one's gonna act faster, it's going to uh, you know, wobble faster, and it's going to be more erratic. It hunts a little bit more. And that's what I'm wanting to do. Again, we're talking about schooling fish in the fall. These fish are hunting around for bait, so we're going to match the size of the bait. You know, A lot of the bait in the fall is like really small, so we're going to go to the smallest one. And you want to be burning that thing around. You can burn it around grass. It's amazing to me that you, know, you would think this bait wouldn't come through grass worth a dang, but it actually comes through really well. You can pop it free. I usually throw it, um, if I'm throwing it around grass, on like 20 pound test, straight braid on a spin rod a lot of times. Or when I'm throwing it out on these schooling fish, I'm gonna throw it on usually a jerk bait rod. I'm gonna pick up like a, a seven foot medium heavy and 10 pound, 12 pound test and bomb this thing out there. And what it really excels at is fish that are suspended. So when these fish are, you know, pushing bait around when they're actively schooling or when they're just suspended down there waiting on bait, you can get this thing, you know, down anywhere from four to six foot and the key again is the speed. It's all about cadence. You want the thing moving fast, you want it moving erratic, and that's gonna get you some bites because nobody fishes something like this in these schools. You're throwing something different. Again, we've been talking about being creative, doing something that other anglers aren't doing, so I would highly recommend you pick up some of these, but I'm gonna give you one more as a bonus. And that's the same thing when you pick up you know, some 3.5 inch spunk shad. Another thing that it's dynamite on is an underspin. Now this one is from Hog Farm. This is the Warpig underspin that it's designed for. But that's another great thing. You know, most of the time on an underspin, you're gonna see guys, you know, they're gonna put a Hasdong Shad or a Largo Shad or a Kitek on there. But running a straight tail can actually be really good because what happens is the blade itself turning and making that thump will give this some action, but it's not too much. It's a muted action and that really gets to fish that are finicky because a lot of times they don't want something that's too aggressive and you can i catch a lot of fish just running this thing pendulum style like just letting it fall through the school middle of the water column and also just lifting it off the bottom and this thing is going to be good from now all the way into the winter time this is one of my go-to winter time baits as well when you're talking about fish that are out on these flats out on these big you know open space areas and they're on the bottom. This is another great thing. You know, if they're not going to hit my rattle trap, if they're not going to hit a blade bait, if they're not going to come up and eat a rig, something like this that you can get down there and just barely lift and drop could be dynamite for that. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm going to link down below the Hog Farmer website so that you can pick up some of this stuff. I highly recommend you do it. If you're local, Scott's got an awesome shop over there off of Thrasher Pipe. And it has a lot of baits that you're not going to see anywhere else. I'm talking Upton's Custom Worms, 316 um, swim baits, all kinds of crazy stuff that you're not going to see in any other tackle shop in Tennessee. So get in there, grab a little bit of that stuff, and get out there and catch you some big fish this fall. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. 
And as always, share it with all your friends, unless you just don't want them to know these little secrets so that you can one-up them a little bit the next time you go fishing. All right, guys, I hope this week finds you out on the water, and I'll catch you there.